Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Mrs. Harlow's Quarantine Reads. Today's quarantine read is Finna by Nino Cipri. This is another Tor.com novella. It's only, should have looked at this, 134 pages. And it is a story about two minimum wage employees who work at what is basically an Ikea. And they discover that a little old lady, a granny, has gotten lost in their store because she stepped through a portal to another dimension. Uh, And they, being the two newest employees, have to go find this granny. The problem is, they're also exes, recent exes. They just broke up like three days ago and haven't really talked about it. So things are really tense and they have two hours to work together and go through a bunch of different wormholes into different dimensions to try and find this little old lady. It's time to talk about something crazy. Time to talk about wormholes. Now, before making this video, everything I knew about wormholes came from watching Stargate SG-1 as a kid, so needless to say, I had to do some research. And by research, I mean I watched a two and a half minute video of Neil deGrasse Tyson talking about wormholes. You'll find the link to that in the description box. Um, But the gist of it is this. Wormholes are purely theoretical. We have no evidence to suggest they actually exist in our reality, but we can do the math that says they're possible. Uh, And so theoretically, a wormhole would be if two black holes were somehow linked. Um, You would enter one black hole, and as you are coursing through it at the speed of light, you have been removed from time, you cease to experience time, and you would travel through it and ostensibly come out the other side in a different point in space. There are a lot of issues with the theory, mainly that there's currently no math that tells us how to make a wormhole stable. As they are theoretically now, they are unstable and are likely to collapse upon you if you were to enter one. Uh, The other problem is that nothing comes out of black holes. Black holes are basically gravity wells and they suck everything in to them and destroy it. It removes it from time, literally. And so um, they are purely theoretical, really the realm of science fiction still. Anyway, back to the book. As you've probably figured out by now, Finna is science fiction. Um, And with wormholes being so theoretical and really not proven to exist in our reality, uh, Cipri was able to take a lot of liberties and just make the tech, insofar as what it is, work for them. Um, They're less wormholes than portals. They're described as a seam. You would step from one room into the other, but in crossing that seam, you've actually entered a different dimension. Um, We could go on and on about, like, multidimensional theory, uh, which I don't want to do because it makes my brain melt. But um, it's a really fun book, and it makes a lot of really good points about capitalism and how unchecked capitalism is killing people. Um, And in this book, quite literally, uh, right? That's the point that's trying to be made. Um, I also really just loved the dynamics between Ava and Jules. Um, Their relationship felt very real to me and very painful, and yet they were still able to banter and say really funny things and kind of come together to work through this regardless of what they'd been through recently. Um, And they got to experience some crazy stuff going into these multiple dimensions. So it was very fun. I read it in a single evening. I laughed out loud a lot, which made my husband think I was going crazy, which is neither here nor there. But, um, yeah, finna. It's also just funny because it's really poking fun at Ikea. And I love Ikea, but come on. Like, the little showrooms and stuff, they all have goofy names in this, which made me laugh really hard. Um, but, uh, yeah, this would definitely be adult. Language is adult. Um, but the, the actual, like, writing is very approachable, easy to understand. And like I said, it's only 134 pages, very quick read. So um, if we owned it, it would be an adult fiction. 
And yeah, uh, I really like Seapri. I've read some of their other short stories and think they have a lot of talent and I'm very excited for any of their future endeavors. Uh, if you haven't yet, guys, please hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you're reading right now and what you've been up to. And I'll be back soon with another quarantine read.